Hello YouTube, here's my LEGO Candy Machine version 10 and as you can see I have a little backdrop here that says SLC123 and that just stands for Super LEGO Creators123 just my, my username and I thought it would be pretty cool to just have in my background in my videos but yeah, on to the machine this is um this is my version 10 as I said it's 10 by 10 studs and oh that was not on purpose but yeah it's color aligned as you see it's your quick 360 view here's the coin slot the coin rejection where you get the candy and as you can see even here it's kinda like color aligned which is kinda cool that also I don't even think was on purpose but yeah it's still pretty cool so basically it takes five cents and rejects pennies so I'll show you that real quick so it has a really good coin rejection that's almost instant and basically it has two kinds of coin rejection built in one of them is obvious it just dispenses the coin but if you try pushing it at the same time it'll basically take your coin and then put it in the coin bank so that's for like scammers and stuff since it's too small to actually get candy there's no way you can pretty much get candy with a penny which is good so basically when you insert a nickel you push, and then you pull, and you get a Minto, and it dispenses Mentos. So, no matter how much you push or pull without money, it does not give you any more candy. But when you put in a nickel, you push and pull, and it gives you a Minto. Now, it holds six rounds and has a secret storage also holding six rounds, so you can hold up 12 rounds within the machine, and you just have to replace it after six rounds. But... Basically, even if you push in the button and then insert a nickel, it does not jam. So that's a cool feature. So that way you don't get a machine jamming on you. So there's three Mentos out of the six. And I'll show you how to get the money out and how to reload it. So the top is really easy to remove, and that's a really cool feature I like to do because I hate prying off tops. I mean, that's really something annoying. So, as you can see, this is where the um, this is where the Mentos that you get for, from buying, and these are all secret storage. And then this is the key, and I think it's kind of unique how the secret storage is under the roof. So that way, if it's like unexpected kind of, but it's also kind of cool because I mean, I don't know, I I didn't really have room since it's so small for since the mechanism was everywhere. So I wanted to make a decent secret storage. And so I decided to do that, since the mechanism's obviously below. So here's the key, which I'm going to take out. And as you saw, you just reload them by sticking them flat into the um, hole. And then set the roof on top real quick. And basically, the coin drawer is right here, and it blends in really well. You can't tilt it or shake it out, really. And basically, you need a key. So... Without the key, you can't get it out, but you take a four rod, and it's a four long um, axle beam, and I just put an extender on there, make it look kind of cool, and you basically insert that into the hole, twist, and using a gear rack, it pushes it out. So yeah, it's a really cool feature right there, and it helps to keep it in pretty nicely. So here's a little cheese slopes, oh sorry, cheese slopes that kind of stack the coins slightly well, and then there's your three nickels. So you put the, um, put the coin drawer back in, twist to make sure it's locked in good, and then you twist back around to the front. So, as you can see, push or pull, still no candy, and it's kind of hard not to block things in the machine, but yeah. So I'll show you a different angle when I'm buying these rounds so you can see it come out. So you put in the nickel, push, pull, and then you get your Mento. Push and pull anymore, you do not get any more Mentos. Show you some more rounds. Push, pull, Mento. Insert nickel, push, and pull, and you get a Mento. And the third one kind of went off the screen, and when you insert a penny, it gets rejected quite well. So yeah, it's pretty nice. I... Would, li would have liked to film this on my table, but my table's currently being used for a future project, which, yeah, so I will normally try and film most of my videos on my new table, but 
But I, yeah, right now I'm filming it in another place just for the fact that my, just because the fact that my table's filled. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Secret storage again, reloading, where you insert the key, put on the roof, and that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I have my version 9 out, as you know, and I was thinking about doing a tutorial of that after I post next week, after I post this video. This is this week's video, of course. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I have a bunch of other projects that I can video pretty soon. And, yeah, so, yeah, I have a, quite a bit of things to video, thanks to my winter break. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Bye.